Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to do long lasting mini twists and how to seal the end so they don't unravel. So I have been struggling to try and find an accurate video on YouTube to figure out how exactly I can do my ends without having them unravel and no video that I've seen really specifies exactly how it's done. I've also had the issue of having my wrist feeling very loose when uh, like a few days into the twist they're starting to unravel and I go retwisting them because I want them nice and fresh. But I remember when I was younger my mother would do this trick and I have not seen this anywhere on YouTube so I decided to show this to you guys today. So if you want to see exactly how I do my twists Please keep on watching. So you're gonna need some grease or moisturizer, some gel, hair clips, mousse, a detangling brush, and some water. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is detangle your hair. Then separate one piece for the twist and clip away the rest for later. Now I'm just grabbing my moisturizer and concentrating it to my roots and also to my ends. And then running the excess through my hair. Then just a little bit of gel and running it all through that one piece. and I'm using the Wetland Extreme Gel. Now what I'm doing is getting a, another gel with a harder hold and concentrating it more towards my ends. This one I'm using the Got To Be Glue Gel. So the first part of the trick is to braid a few pieces of the twist starting at the roots. So once you braid at least four or five then you want to separate the three strands into two and start your twist. This is my trick to help the hair stay tight at the roots for way longer. Now what I'm doing is just dipping my hand in some water while I work my way down just to activate the gel a little bit since it might have dried from putting it on dry hair. And this is how the hair is looking. Nice and shiny. Grab your moisturizer, once again concentrating it on the roots and also on the ends and then running the excess through the rest of the hair. I'm grabbing the gel and running it all through the hair. Then take the other gel as a stronger hold and concentrating it more towards the ends. If you don't have two different types of gels, you can always use the same gel and the water will activate it the same way. Now I just hold it tight at the roots and braid it at least four or five times. And once you reach that number, you separate it into two and then start twisting. And keep tangling as you go down so you don't have any flyaways. Dip your hand in the water once you get closer to the ends just to activate the gel more and it'll be a tighter hold. Growing up, my mom used to use this protective style on me all the time. This style used to last a good two weeks.
I am a big fan of this technique. I know I'm not the best at it, but I know you guys would appreciate the idea and put your own flair to it. It has the strength of braids and also a light bouncy feel of twists. I think it's the best of both worlds. You can also put small curlers at the ends of your twist to create an even bouncier look. Just keep it in until the gel is dried, uh, which shouldn't take long because you're starting on dry hair anyway. Now that we're done, here we see the finishing product. I think they look pretty nice. I can't wait to see what you guys do as well if you guys want to try it out. Now for the final touches, I like to add some mousse all throughout my hair. So I start at the tops of my hair and put them all over my roots to help lay down the flyaways. Then I take some more and put it all through my hair to set the look. Now I just squeeze the mousse into my twist rather than it just sitting on the top. Okay, now please don't come at me for my parts. I am not the best parter, but this is an easy style for quarantine when I do not want to do anything at all for my hair for at least two weeks. And there you have it. I hope you guys liked my video. Please leave a comment to let me know what you guys think and like and subscribe to be notified for more videos. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys back soon.